This is going to be a disaster today, guys. I, might, I haven't even made it out of the yard yet, and I'm gonna have to get Courtney to pull me out. We're Riley and Courtney Casey. After traveling full time in a truck camper we built ourselves, we risked it all and spent everything we had on 20 acres of raw, off grid land in North Idaho. We spent the summer building our 30 by 40 pole barn and got it dried in just as winter hit. But it turns out we underestimated just how hard it would be to build in winter. So follow along as we battle the snow and get stuck a lot. Storm update, the snowflakes today are absolutely massive. We are getting the snow off the roof of the trailer. Two storms ago, we put a tarp on the top of the trailer so that this time we could hopefully just pull the tarp off. We'll see what happens. That totally worked and reduced a lot of the shoveling off the top of the trailer. So we got eight inches yesterday and we have eight inches in the forecast for tomorrow. So Courtney and I are getting some plowing done. Basically what we've been doing is that she clears with the excavator in the area around the shop, puts it into big piles, and then I push those down and off the edge. Works pretty well. The excavator is really slow, so it can't really shuttle snow very well but the plow truck is hard to get into tight spaces. So as a team, we're able to get this done pretty efficiently. Oops, I'm stuck. Thank you for rescuing me, Courtney. Huge thanks to Bubba Rope for setting us up with the recovery gear that we've been using this winter. The kinetic rope and soft shackles are awesome. That was a surprise to come around the corner too. How's it going? Fancy meeting you here. I know, that was a surprise. <laughs> what are you doing way down here? Widening the road. We got more snow coming. Courtney's probably a half a mile from the shop right now. It's quite a ways away. All right, we're pretty much calling that good. I've got to do about two more passes with the plow truck to clean things up down here, and we're headed back up to the shop. I would call that a huge success. So between the delays in getting our plow parts and then the issues with the plow truck, we got a little behind on the plowing. And with 16 inches forecasted over the next two days, we thought it'd be a good time to get ahead of all that. So with Courtney's help, we were able to get the, put the banks pushed way back and now there's way more room to plow. Awesome. My last job is to get the snow off the roof of the snow Verlander because we're probably gonna be using it this week. Okay, 13 inches of fresh snow last night. 
And now it is raining, and raining pretty hard. This stuff is wet, slushy, and heavy. I just got a call from my neighbor that their plow truck is stuck, but he's about a mile and a half away from me down the road. So I've got about a mile and a half of plowing to do to get to him, and then uh, depending on what we find, I might be plowing for the rest of the day. Oh my gosh, so slushy. Don't get stuck, then I have to come rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can get back up this hill in the excavator right now, so. Number one priority today, don't get stuck. Oh. Pouring rain. going to be a disaster today guys oh man I, might, I haven't even made out of the yard yet and I'm gonna have to get Courtney to pull me out today's gonna be a bit interesting There's the shop. Here's where I am. I have a mile and a half to go. I am plowing. I am plowing slush. It is so slippery. I can't really make it up that hill right now. I'm gonna have to turn around and drive forward up it with a lot of momentum. So that's as good as this section's getting for now. And in order to get more ahead of this, I would have had to have gotten up like at 2 a.m. and plowed and then gotten up this morning and doing that and again. And in hindsight, I should have done that, but they were also predicting six inches last night and we got closer to 13 or 14. That's not supposed to happen. Uh oh. <coughs> Somehow my plow came disconnected. <laughs> what? It looks like everything is fine. I think that the uh, lever that locks it into place got flipped backwards just now when I backed up on a piece of ice and disconnected the plow. I don't know what the odds of that are. Hopefully I can get it reconnected out here. I cannot get this thing lined up on the other side right now. So I'm gonna try to ratchet strap it to the truck so I can back up with it. I just found the factory jack under the back seat. I can't believe it's still on the truck. All right, there might be hope after all. The plow is successfully hooked back up. That was a lot of work. I think I've been here for about an hour and a half. Now it's time to see if all the functions still work because I did rip the plug out and I hope I didn't break any wires. I am so happy to see everything working. I reattached to the truck. I was not looking forward to the walk back. 
Well, I went to back up and I don't know if you can tell, but the rear just sort of shot sideways right here. And I am fully off the road in the ditch. Dang it. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna try to dig a little bit right here and see if I can back out, but I don't think so. Absolutely pouring rain out. I'm not one to complain, but this, this is a mess. Riley just messaged me that uh, he's stuck and so is the neighbor that would pull him out. So I am going to chain up the quad and wish me luck. What could possibly go wrong? Everything, everything, always. Um, we haven't chained the quad up before, so we'll see how this goes. Okay guys, so I called Courtney and she reminded me that the high lift was actually in the bed of the truck underneath all the snow. So I'm gonna try to use the high lift jack to shimmy the back end of the truck back onto the road. I think it's gonna work. Fire reinforcements have arrived. Inside? Yeah. The shop's flooded. There's straight up puddles of standing water. This is a mess. This is a straight mess. Courtney, what's the plan? I don't know. Start using the strap. We're gonna put a strap from that tree down to the truck, put some tension on it. That way as I lift the front end with the high lift, it tries to shimmy the truck back on the road. That's perfect. Yeah, perfect.
you falling on your butt. Cody told me I should put my crampons on my shoes and I, I didn't. Well, we've got them both backed down the hill and um, brake lines and axle shafts and, and U joints. It's an expensive day for them. We are now going to head, continue heading down the hill, continuing to plow and see how far we can get. We successfully made it all the way down to where Courtney's car is parked. And then I got the plow truck very stuck. So here we go again, Courtney's car, bubble rope to the truck. We're gonna try to yank it out sideways and get out of the ditch. Awesome, that worked. We're out. <laughs> Guys, this bubble rope is amazing. It like, it makes all this type of snatching and pulling way less violent. Thank you, Courtney. Got all our stuff transferred over to the Lexus GX and now we are headed into town. So we need to be able to get something that's 12 feet wide all the way to the top of our road. But it's, it's something incredibly exciting that we really need. And then hopefully the weather holds out long enough that all these efforts aren't for nothing.